Hello and welcome to the Dead Air Dudes. I'm Izzy. I'm Raka, and you are Dead Air Dudes Nation. Hello, everybody. What is up? Yo, everyone. Welcome, Dead Air Dudes Nation. Once again, we are back with you guys, this time reviewing one of the uh, seasonal movies on Netflix that just came out, what, a week ago, I'd say? I uh, About that. It's, and, it's right on par with Halloween month. Exactly. And it is the Halloween <clears throat> Special Hubie or Hubie Halloween starring Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Julie Bowen, and a cast of hundreds. Directed by Stephen Brill and written, co written by none other than Adam Sandler himself. So, uh, that being said, take it away, Rocco. All right, it so seems that um, Adam Sandler and company have gotten together cast of Disney his close friends and a few other stars and put them into a pumpkin bowl, shook it up, and this is what vomited out. First, may I say that I viewed this with the intention of being humored by slapstick, um, sophomoric humor, and the like. And I was not disappointed in that sense. It was... Completely predictable, ho hum. It's as though, oh, I'm blanking now. Help me out. The water boy. What was his name? Henry Winkler. Anyway, no, his character from the water boy. Bobby it's Boucher. As his, it, it's his his Bobby uh, Boucher. inbred. Right, Bobby Boucher. It's as though Bobby Boucher's inbred second cousin, three times removed, married. Had a kid, and that was Hubie. Well, let me just let me just give, give us a little insight for all those Adam Sandler fans or and or haters. This is directed by the same director who directed that classic movie, Little Nicky. So, oh, you stammered there for a second, sir. <laughs> so uh, you had to gather yeah, yourself. That way. <laughs> I had to, uh, you know, I had to uh, give myself a little, you know. Well, the, the sarcasm was seeping out of my pores for a second. So, I uh, I would like to bear first a uh, a warning shot that there's going to be spoilers abound. But at the same point, I don't think anyone um, gives a shit. Raka <laughs> gives a damn. <laughs> um, so, those who watch the movie are not watching it. Everyone knows how full how you you can watch you, you see the trailer you see in the movie how for, formulaic. It is. It, you either watch it because you like Adam Sandler and you, and you love his type of comedy, and or or you're a glove of punishment. There's a subset of SNL comedians in here. There's a subset of everybody in here. Hey, freaking I'm wolf. kind of disappointed I didn't see Chris Rock and uh, uh, Jerry oh, Seinfeld. Chris Rock wouldn't be called dead, you know, in this film. You know? I, I'm sure he met, he must have read the first, I don't know, three pages of the treatment and said, you know, polite pass. But uh, but Ray Liotta was in it. Yeah. Now, um, after after a few movies that he's done, I I, I don't know if this was a, a layup. It was a gimme. And of course, Steve Buscemi. You know, great yeah, character. Yeah, another one. In it. I, I I don't know again if if there's favors owed or or uh, they just want to help out now. Like you mentioned, a cast of a hundred, each with a minuscule part. And of course, um, who, who wouldn't actor. pass up on this? Yes, what um, was that? Three second cameo. Yeah, well, he 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 uh, he played the he uh, uh reprised his role from uh, well, yeah, uh, the, the the insane asylum orderly or something. Either way, Adam Sandler plays Hubie Dubois, again, uh, Bobby Boucher's cousin. And he's the town, Salem. This is the town. And he is picked on by basically everybody since birth. Everyone. And, of course, uh, the hot blonde chick in the town that everybody loves, loves him. And they've been in love since third grade, but they've gone separate ways. And she's in love with him, and he's scared of love. Never have been loved. 
And here, here's where I segue into another, uh, my maybe first pet peeve of this oh, you want the movie. The only, only the I, first I don't, pet peeve. Uh, uh, one of many Scud missiles that will be fired tonight. I, I don't know who his target audience in this film is. There's a wide range of jokes, puns, innuendos that range from overt sexuality to, you know, kitty crushes. That's a big net you cast. Well, so I don't know. Same people. It, it seems catered to a teen crowd or under. Yes, it's, it's the same people who enjoy his, you know, dumber films. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, for every... For every wedding singer, fifty first dates, you have your, you know, your little Nickies and your, um, you know, we can right. Get, and you know. something like fifty first dates was actually entirely cleverly done. Um, a deeper, more profound movie than your average romantic comedy. Yeah, click. This is this is not click either. So, no. So at the same time, you know, again, I I'm not quite sure he knew his target audience. Would I recommend it to that age group, like eight to twelve? I guess. Would it be memorable? Probably not. Uh, is there is there a void for a Halloween seasonal movie for that target group? Don't know. Really, don't know the answer to that. Uh, there's probably a couple others, maybe a dozen more I could hand out there to kids. Kids of that age group, the teenies, I think the teenagers and up between the, the 13 to the 18 demographic might play past this movie and everything above that should pass this movie. You know, um, there's, there's, there's not a real demon or, I mean, it's not, it's, it's, I guess a twisted coming of age movie during Halloween. Even Shaq makes an appearance. Oof. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, right there. Uh, when I saw him and the lines that he had, this eye right here, this, the, the right eye, my, my bad eye, started to twitch. So in that sense, uh, again, don't know which target audience. Uh, this kind of was uh, a Pulp Fiction, pun intended, of, of pumpkin time. Pumpkin time, yeah. yeah. With, with Barely any slapstick. If you're going to do that, go for it, you know. There was a couple scenes, but that's about it. On a large whole, largely disappointed. Uh, being very generous. For me, this is this movie, if we're going to use the five, the one to smashing five pumpkins. bloody, you know, <laughs> bloody knives or smashing pumpkins, I give it a... Let's go with smashing pumpkins. Oh, wait, even better. Rotten eggs. I give it a rotten egg shell. Okay. So I, 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 I would that, have to second that. That would, that would equate that to what? A half a star or something? Or a half I, I would, whatever, you know. So. I, would, um, I would further that with a rotten sea turtle egg that has been left half eaten by a raven in Salem, Massachusetts. Laying in the sun for about a day and a half. Yeah, I think I think the com the commercial I saw to uh to the PlayStation Five was more was more exciting and more interesting than this movie. So <laughs> enough said. So obviously we were not fans of this film, and hopefully Adam Sandler's uh contract with Netflix is running out very soon. So cause if he keeps us giving us crap like this, I don't know. So enough said. Well, what makes it more disappointing on my end is that he, he did have at your disposal a very wide-ranging, eclectic cast, and you do have Halloween. There really is no other rival. Nobody came out with a Halloween movie like this. That seemed wholly disappointing. Very, very disappointing. I guess enough said. Enough said. So, uh, yeah, a couple of fun facts. This is the fourth film in which Steve Buscemi plays a werewolf. And in this case, Who spoiler have... abound, he thinks he's a werewolf. He's a mental patient 
can I say mental patient on this? I'm sorry in today's age. You said it already. So, I mean, might as well. Well, sorry. Uh, apologies about he's a, a patient who escaped, thinks he's a werewolf, boards himself up into a house because he doesn't want to escape on the full, night, full moon night of Halloween. His institutional roommate is played by none other than uh, Deuce Bigelow. Of and you can he, do it. He, he escapes to bring him back because they're lifelong buddies. That's, that's basically what I have to say. So, again, uh, pass this up, people. If you want to look for a Halloween movie to watch, just go on our IG page or on our Facebook page, and we will post quite a number of movies you will not watch in this lifetime but we have reviewed extensively horror movies sci-fi in this genre and we can highly recommend even if you want a horror comedy we uh izzy did a five top five uh, horror comedies and we would definitely recommend a multitude of horror movies that will far surpass this and have you up all night we can we can also recommend a multitude of comedies that can far surpass this. So that being said, there's not much else to say except, uh, you know, you know, throw this fish in the ocean, you know, whatever. Enjoy the movie, just not this movie. I'm Raka and save the whales. I'm Izzy. Stay spooky. Save the whales. Take care, guys.